If you find yourself looking for more MCU content, and you intend to watch WandaVision, but you're still gonna be itching for more, there's plenty more coming our way. Although some of it's not exactly new actual TV series, it's gonna be documentaries. But it's better than nothing, right? Right? So let's be real, due to the pandemic and everything that happened, there's a lack of content everywhere. It's just hard to get new content out. Now of course, when it came to the likes of Mandalorian, which came out last year, after that finished airing, Disney announced a brand new series called Disney Gallery The Mandalorian, which went into the production of the actual series, giving us a extensive look as to what happens behind the scenes, the technology powering it, the development and all that stuff. It's essentially giving us all those Blu-ray and DVD bonus features a little bit more structured in a format. Now, I, for one, love seeing how they make these things, right? I think many of you do as well. You get to really see what's CG, what's real, what's a mixture, what did they do, how did they approach this scene, was that done in camera? Like, there's a lot of uh, little things that happen to put together these giant scenes that sometimes might blow you away with how much was actually done in person and practically, which is something that if you go look at the gallery for Mandalorian, you really see what they were doing with that now brand new rumors and some people are even saying it's definitely happening is that marvel studios has been filming behind the scenes stuff for wandavision but specifically everything that they're working on and that we can expect a lot more of these documentaries based specifically on mcu content following each show and this makes sense like we know they're always doing these sort of quick interviews on set talking to people recording when the actual shows are being shot so why wouldn't you just compile all that into a bunch of 30 to 40 minute episodes and put extra content out there it, it, it just makes sense right like we saw them do that with the Mandalorian and that did great and you really got an inside look as to what they were doing so yeah I understand it and from what we're hearing is that the first episode of WandaVision will be really interesting because we found out, again, it's shot in front of a live studio audience, which is awesome, but that they wanted to sort of convey how they went about making the sets and how they did that. And that's what the first episode of this uh, WandaVision follow-up would be about, which sounds awesome because if you really think about it, that sort of way of shooting has been lost because it was shot like that in the 50s. Why would you shoot a TV show in 2020 like they did 50, 60, 70 years ago? You just don't because it doesn't make sense. So it's really an art form to go back and shoot that way. And uh, I can't wait to see this further explored with everything that they're developing on Disney+. Plus.